So you want to learn how to hook up trailers like a real truck driver. None of this cheating. None of this world editor. Do it like the real world. All right. So first we need to talk about some vocabulary. This is a 28 foot trailer here and it has a pinnel hook on it by default. This is a 53 footer and it doesn't, but we can get it in vehicle config because you can double these. You can do as many as you want and they do do double 53 footers in real life. So we're going to go on rear frame right here, pinnel hitch and put that on. So there you go. And for this, the longer trailers, the dolly you want to use is the double axle dolly. You can't use this one on the short trailers because the mud flap will be too far back relative to where the kingpin connects. So it's going to hit your landing gear right here. And that's true for the truck as well. You need a single axle truck for these 28 footers. You'll see these all over the country. They run triples in a couple of states. So I'm going to hook a triple today. Um, here's the dolly that we're using, the single axle. And you'll notice that the truck also has a pinnel hook. So that's how we're going to be moving it. That's how you move it in real life. They're very heavy. You can imagine how much weight these wheels are. And then this solid steel frame. These are very heavy. Very hard to maneuver. So being skilled and getting the pinnel hook exactly where you need it is a skill you learn quick. Because you're punished every time you, you don't succeed in that. Let's fire it up and get to work. Everything about this feels so real. I've done this hundreds of times and this is exactly the experience. So I'm going to hit F and get out of the truck. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually lift this note. I think it's too heavy when you're in walk mode. But I can click on the pinnel hook and it'll just kind of use a magnet. And you'll notice it's skipping here because the wheels are locked up. And that's how a uh, dolly will behave in, per in real life as well. Basically, you have to get up under here and release the air out of it when that's the case. But I don't see a function to do that in the simulator. So I'm just going to have to let it drag like that. Once it's hooked to the truck, it does behave correctly, which in real life, that would mean you have to pressurize it with air, which we don't have any air lines. So I need to put this in front of my rearmost trailer, which has to be the lightest. I don't have any loads in these trailers, but I can make a future video demonstrating why it's dangerous to have even... 10% more weight in the rear trailer. There's an effect called crack the whip and it amplifies all the forces on that rearmost trailer. So you can have a lot of weight in the back, but you need weight in the front as well to kind of soak up that force. So with all this, you want to get as straight as possible. Still not perfect, but it's good enough. Trust me, I've done this hundreds of times. I'm a little far back as well, but even this, I've done this in real life. You drop it down, see it kind of hits the trailer, but we're all right. If you think this is a time consuming process, imagine in real life when you have to crank that landing gear manually instead of that electric one going like that. And you gotta check out, inspect the trailer, hook up lines. So when you're learning, it's really good to pull up pretty far, get it as straight as possible. You got to take your time because it's got to be right. You're just going to have to redo your work 
if you're in a hurry and you're screwing up. So in real life, this is one of the more challenging parts here, is knowing when you're far enough back to that dolly. And you're looking in your mirror, so you can see the wheel of the dolly, but it's hard to know what's the space between this wheel and that wheel. So training videos will tell you to put a glove on the ground or a flashlight. I've never personally done that. Let's get away with it. Now, here you'll notice this is something I would try to avoid in real life because yanking this over enough to line up is very hard. This dolly is so heavy, but we're in sim, so I'm getting away with a freebie today. Another thing to check for is that this fifth wheel flips down like that. You notice it was up at first. I can't get it, but sometimes in real life as well, they get gummed up. They want to stay up. You'll see a lot of damage on the fronts of these trailers from where this, they kind of stab in. There's two prongs on it that are going to kind of slide around that kingpin. So this part, you really don't want to be too gentle with it. You got to push back into that trailer and get it really hooked. And then you pull up, give it a brake test, make sure everything's hooked. Now we have to drop the whole rig and set up another dolly in front. So you can see we're just building right on the front. We can do this indefinitely. And I have seen four trailers in real life hooked up in the yard just kind of for shenanigans. I'm not going to endorse any of the behaviors that I've seen. But I have some advanced maneuvers. If you're interested in what I'm doing here, you'll really enjoy my advanced maneuvers video that I'll work on in the future. Let me know in the comments if you're into that sort of thing. I know when I got started in the industry, I was real curious about how this all worked. Once you see it once, it's kind of not magic anymore. See if I can set up one of my fancy backs. Trucks move real slow in reverse, so I tend to try to drive forward as much as possible. And then even if I have to hit the, the trailer at an angle like this, in my mind, I save time. Now, again, if you're a career, especially a new career truck driver, I'm not telling you to do what I do. And definitely don't do this. Some terrible setup. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. See? Told you you end up reworking yourself. Just be patient. You got nothing to prove. No, I left it in reverse. Don't let the boss see. Okay, fifth wheel flip down. And there we go. You got your triple trailers. 
you're ready to head to Utah, they do drive them there. I've never driven triples, but I have visited Utah, and I know they pull them. So go ahead and hit, hook up 30 if you want. Uh, you have to take the highest horsepower truck, and you still might not get going. But that's how you hook triples, and I'll see you in the next one.